อ๋อเย่ยุส continue okay where we last left off we destroyed a rad bear and uh comrade Kami so and then we went back to the old guy and he said I still needed to collect the thing so where do we need to go what is this is this A stadium? What's over this way? We've got a cave here. Is that it? Have we done that cave? I feel like we have. We're gonna skip that cave, and we're gonna go over here to this thing, which I think we may have also done already. So let's find out. Jumping in. Whoa! Kip Lombard Stadium. What was once a monument to the great American pastime is now a coliseum of murder and mayhem. Burning junk piles litter the field. Captives scream from hanging cages atop towering uh, throne erected in one of the end zones. Sits the largest bandit you've ever seen, wearing sol shoulder pads, helmets, and a number two jersey. He roars at you to enter as you enter. Ha! <laughs> Look at this puny speck. You want this jersey? Take it off, my Brutus. Buck is back. Ha ha ha. How about this? We fight to the death, then you take it off, dead Brutus, and walk away. Will you challenge me, puny speck? Uh, this could be bad. Let's do it. Bandit 150. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight. Oh, this is Buttkiss. Brutus Buttkiss. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I tell you what. We, let's, let's go in ham. Pebbles, smack him around. Pebbles hits for 28 damage. Bandit hits Pebbles for 49 damage. Woof. Okay. We need you to focus, Doc. Doc does focus and gains 2 AP. We also need to focus. So we're going to do that. That's <laughs> because we need that AP. Round two. Uh, go ahead and attack. Waste Lad hits the Bandit for 34 damage. I probably should have focused, huh? Anyways, let's go, Mr. Pebbles. Mr. Pebbles hits the bandit for 33 damage, and shall I focus again? I think I'll focus again. Bam, he's up to 12. Awesome, the bandit hits Mr. Pebbles for 48 damage. That's a whopper. All right, let's uh, stim pack Mr. Pebbles. We don't want to lose him. 36 health. Bandit hits Wasteland for 47. We're going to bolster. We can't bolster yet. Crap. We need to focus. We're going to focus. <laughs> okay, we gained 2 AP. And Doc is going to stim spray. Bam! Engulfing the group in a fart cloud of healing. And Mr. Pebbles gains 43 health and Wasteland gains 47. We are top-notch adventurers. Let's attack with Feline Frenzy. We need 10 AP. Crap. Uh, let's attack. Bam! He's hit. He hits him for 28 But takes 49. Woof. Okay, let's smash this dude. Wasteland hits for 33 damage. Buttkiss hits the ground. Uh, Brutus Buttkiss, 350. Oh, uh, I guess that was his... So the Bandit King, Brutus Buttkiss, leaps down from his throne and, a f and he wields... And he wields a spiked baseball bat in one hand and a flaming hockey stick in the other hand and the stadium erupts with cheers as... The onlooking bandits root for their king. Madness flashes in his eyes as he charges directly at you. Let's heal. <laughs> uh, he weakened me with that turd. Brutus hits Wasteland for 69 damage. Holy cow, let's bolster. With a grin and a thumbs up, Wasteland bolsters the group. Doctor's ling 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 fart cloud helps us out. All right, cool. Let's, let's have Doc... Let's have Doc focus, because I, I have a feeling we're going to need that. Doc focuses for 2 AP. Round 6. We're going all out. We're going to... We're going to focus. <laughs> focuses and gains 2 AP. Brutus attacks the group with a Hail Mary. We all take 49 damage. To, oh, Pebbles doesn't. Oh, and thank goodness for Doc's focus. It lowers his damage to 31, and Pebbles takes 29. Okay, let's attack this schmo. Bam! Wasteland hits Brutus Buttkiss for 33 damage, 
and he takes an additional 17 damage from Bolster. The last of Stim Spray goes away. Let's go ahead and have him focus. We gain 2 AP for Doc. Round 7. All right, it's time. Feline Frenzy. Get him, Mr. Pebbles. Lashes out in a, in a fury of hair and claws. He does 31 damage, and he takes an additional 16 damage. Brutus Buttkiss attacks uh, Wastelad in a blind fury, and I take 42 damage instead of 60. That's a plus. Uh, let's go ahead and Stimpak, because he could hit me in one shot. Let's do that. Wastelad applies a Stimpak and gains 40 health. Doc, I need you to focus. Doc focuses and gains 2 AP. Here we go, round 8. We're going for another attack. <laughs> Mr. Pebbles hits Brutus Buttkiss for 33 damage. I'm going to smack him. I'm going to smack him, and I did. I did 35 damage, but I took... How much? 52 instead of 73. Woof. We need Stim Spray, Doc. Doc applies Stim Spray and heals the group in his fart cloud. We gain a bit of health. We need more health to survive this. All right, Pebbles, I'm counting on you. Smush him. Pebbles hits Brutus for 30 damage. Let's hit him. Wasteland hits for 33 damage. Buttkiss is no longer in a frenzy and hits Mr. Pebbles for 75. Doc's lingering fart cloud keeps us alive. Let's do it again. Doc, attack him. Give him all you got. Doc attacks for 28 damage. Round 10. Let's bolster. Bam! With a grin and a thumbs up, Wastelad makes the group more powerful. All right, I'm, I'm counting on you, Mr. Pebbles. Go to town. Bam! Mr. Pebbles hits Brutus for 31. Brutus takes 16 additional damage from Bolster. He attacks the group with a Hail Mary. He whoops us with 52, 49, and 60 damage. Stim Spray keeps us alive, but disappears. We hit him. 33 damage. Brutus Buttkiss takes a fall. He is dead. We squished him with the might of the fart cloud. We won the fight. Let's see what we got. We got his number two jersey. 25 caps. The Bandit King dead. Silence falls. Remove the, as I remove the... I, quiet, I quietly remove the jersey and begin to walk through the tunnel, flashing a smile in the audience to your way. And we're out. Okay. Well, that's that. There's the tower. We don't have anything left to do at the tower, right? So I guess it's time we go this way. What is this? Traveling merchant. Oh, nice. You approach a slap shod kiosk. Uh, made up to look like a storefront. Uh, it seems abandoned at first, but as you begin to walk away, a woman springs up from out of nowhere, smiling ear to ear. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's have a talk. Customers, huh? Well... Have I got a deal for you? Brass Knuckles, damage plus 6 for 51 caps. Insulated Vault Suit, max health, 29 caps. Slocum Joe's Coffee, speed plus 6 for 20 caps. Nuka-Cola AP plus 5 for 13 caps. Can we take it all? We have plenty of caps. Let's start with the Brass Knuckles. Bam. Heck yeah. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Waste Lad. Pebbles got the power armor last time. Insulated vault suit. I definitely want to put that. Uh, let's see. Vault suit. Here we go. We give up 29 caps and gain the vault suit. Plus 10 to health. Let's slap it on waste, lad. Boom. There we go. Man, we're getting some serious upgrades. Okay. Slocum Joe's coffee. We're going to get that, too. I wonder if that's permanent. Sweet. Who's going to get it? Uh, we should probably give that to Doc, huh? Let's give it to Doc. Doc takes the Slocum Joe's coffee. Great choice. What else will you have? I'll have that Nuka-Cola, if you don't mind. All right. We're pretty much broke. It's time for a Nuka break. Everyone regains 5 AP. That's amazing. Oh, and we can gain more. Oh, this is how we refill our AP. I'm going to do it. 
Okay, that's a good start. You know what? I'm good with that. I'm not going to waste any more. Wow, Wasteland needs some AP, bro. Okay, cool. We're done here. Well, that's good to know. No, 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 no. Okay, what else do we have here? We've got this. We got some bums over there. Uh-oh, they, they look like they want some trouble. Okay, so let's go up here. What's this building? I don't think I've been in here. Here we go. Oh, no, an abandoned high school. Apocalypse Hornet. Oh, gosh, I hate these. You can encounter one Apocalypse Hornet, two mutants, and one bandit suicider. A deafening buzz assaults you as you, as an Apocalypse Hornet moves in for a sting. Round one, the Apocalypse hits Doc for 41 damage right off the bat. Let's feline frenzy him. Smush. Good job, Pebbles. Pebbles hits. Hornet for 33 damage. We're gonna attack now. Let's see how much damage we do with our brass knuckles. 44! We're whopping it. And Doc is gonna focus. Good job, Doc. Way to focus. Round two. Let's attack. Get him, Mr. Pebbles. He's down by 31 damage, but he attacks and does 29 damage thanks to Feline Frenzy. Alright, let's squish this punk. Bam! Oh, we only do 40 damage. <laughs> Alright, Doc, smack him. Doc smacks him. Alright. A mutant lumbers towards the group with murder in his mind. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Go ahead and attack, Mr. Pebbles. Mr. Pebbles hits for 31 damage. The mutant hits Wastelad for 46. Let's bolster this group. Bam! They've been bolstered. With a grin and a thumbs up. And let's attack. No, let's let's have Doc. We should heal Doc. Good job, Doc. Way to gain 32 health. All right, let's do it. Feline frenzy. Mr. Pebbles lashes out in a fury of hair and claws, sending the mutant into a frenzy. 30 damage. And an additional 15 due to our bolster. Let's attack this punk. We smash him for 41 damage. He takes an additional 21 damage. Those brass knuckles are paying off. Doc, smush him with all you got. Doc hits him for 20 damage. The mutant takes an additional 10. Down to 42 health, but in a blind frenzy, he hits Wastelad for 33 damage. Round 5. Let's get him. Smash him up. Mr. Pebbles does 31 damage. And an additional 16 thanks to Bolster. He is dead. We move on. Bandit suicider time. He's got grenades in both hands and rushes in our into our group. Get him, Mr. Pebbles. Mr. Pebbles hits him for 32 damage. And 16 thanks to Bolster. Bolster has run out. Well, you've been good to me, Bolster. All right, it's time to use a stim pack, because I don't know how hard he's going to hit. We gain 42 health. Oh, no! The bandit suicider attacks the group with desperate detonation. Wasteland takes 50 damage, Doc takes 48, and Mr. Pebbles takes 47. It's a devastating blow to all of us. Doc, we need that stim spray ASAP. Doc hits us with an engulfing fart cloud. We gain 43, 39, and 51 health. Round 7. Get him, Mr. Pebbles. I've had enough of this, punk. Mr. Pebbles hits for 29 damage, and the... Oh no, we get hit with another desperate detonation, taking 52, 47, and 51 damage. This guy's beating us up. It's time to put him down. Lee, attack. We hit him for 38 damage. Oh, thank gosh for that fart cloud. It's, it's smush him, Doc. Give him all you got. Doc hits for 30 damage. He's done. Good job, Doc. Way to smush. We have yet another mutant to squish. What will happen? We will attack. <laughs> Mr. Pebbles hits for 29 damage. Ooh-wee. Wasteland takes up 47 damage. We're going to bolster and hope that we don't lose Wasteland because that's bad. Stim spray wear wears off. We've got another stim spray. No, we don't. Oh, Doc, focus. Oh, boy. I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> we, we might just die. Uh, let's hit four... Whatever we can get, 28 damage, Mr. Pebbles goes in. And the mutant takes an additional 14 damage, but he hits Mr. Pebbles. Thankfully, we don't die. Let's hit a stim pack here, <laughs> just in case. We gain 42 health, and Doc is going to use his stim spray to save us all. Good job, Doc. Way to be that fart cloud of angel 
Fart Cloud Angel. There we go. And Pebbles, I'm going to have you beat him up again. Pebbles hits for 28 damage and an additional 14 damage thanks to Bolster. Doc takes 51 damage this time. Doc's lingering stim spray heals the group again. All right, it's time, Doc. Smush him. Doc gets his revenge with 27 damage and an additional 14 thanks to Bolster. All right, Wastelad, it's time to take him out. Wastelad hits for 45 damage. Round 11. Pebbles, it's all down to you. Pebbles hits that mutant for 28 damage. He's dead. We've done it. We won the fight. Let's see what our loot is. We find 20 caps and a baseball bat plus 6 to damage. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Doc. Doc needs some more damage. All right, Doc. As you leave, you can't help but think about that. Coach Steen in the Vault 1 Youth Athletics Program, you set fire to the gymnasium. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I'm going to just assume we don't know. Okay, where we left, where we're going to leave off here is this building here. I see them two thugs down there. All right, that's all the time we got for in Wasteland. Wow, we, we've been playing for quite some time. Welcome back to episode 28 of Fallout 76 Intellectually Challenged. Where we left off, we were trying to solve the case uh, to find the little missing boy, the cold case, for Ms. Annie. Uh, but I happened to find some paper targets for this here poor target range guy. So let's go slap these on here. Uh, while I was off camera, I managed to collect a few weapons. One of them is a silent sniper that I'm not using right now. Also, there it appears to be a Halloween event. And there is some weird dressed up scorched that are dropping some goodie bags. So we're going to keep our eyes out for that. Let's put these paper targets on. It'll probably be ruined by the end of the day. But oh well, we're going to get paid for it, right? Doop a doop do do. Bam. Look at us, we're awesome. Doing favors for robots. Look, see, we got paid. Target rich environment. I think there's a, um, a bear. Some ammo, and I'd like to scrap up, and then, um, we're gonna carry on to, it's time to go to the Grafton Dam for us. So let's do that. So here's my sniper rifle. I got lucky, and it has a silencer on it, because with one intelligence, I'll never be able to put a silencer on anything, so I'll have to get lucky. So I'm going to hold on to this for as long as I can. I also made it to level 30, and yeah, we're doing good so far. All right, let's go there. Let's see. We also have a cold case, another cold case I picked up, investigate the picnic site for clues. We'll do that when we come back to Miss Annie after we find... What's going on at Grafton Dam? Now we also have Camp Lewis on the way. We also have I don't I don't know what kill the one Yaogoy is for. Some mission. And we still have to fix the Prickett's Fort token dispenser for the mayor. And talk to Hemlock Holes. We have endless amounts of things to do. So we also have talk to the warden about the marshals that keep showing up and randomly shooting me. Just me. No one else. Just me. Don't know what that's about. Getting real tired of that. So let's go down the road to Camp Lewis and then make our way to Grafton Fort. We put Clarkson behind us. Do I need to talk to this guy? His ammo canisters are a lie. They're full of hardly anything. But now customers have to bring their own. Oh, well, you know, he just answered the fact that I was disappointed. Okay. Falling Rocks. Morgantown, Palace of the Winding Wind. I wonder if we'll actually be able to get up there or not. So, let's, um... It's a 50 cal as well, which I would not be able to do. City limits. Have I searched these places? I'm pretty sure I have. This is why we never get anywhere, guys. Vegetable starch. That turns into glue. All 
I don't know if we've been here. I don't maybe not. Oh. Um spices? Were they spiked spices? Hmm. There's a bed up there. Or is that a what's left of a dresser? I think that's a bed. Oh wow, they died up there. Ooh, can I get up there? Oh man. I can't get up there. We'll take your mentats though. It's gonna only gonna bother me forever. Whoa, this house is um actually in okay shape, considered after looking at the other ones. No basement in this one, just an under stairs. Ooh, bobby pin box, sweet. And I don't need your bowl, man. Nothing under the bed. Okay. Alright. Well, let's keep going this way. Oh, but there's stuff over there. Let's look at our map. Yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to skip it. Because otherwise, I just never get to the objectives. Alright, you got any ammo in there? You do! Thank you! Foot locker full of goodies. Do I have anything to cook? I don't think I do. I, I lied. I do. I totally do. And a Deathclaw steak. Oh, yeah! I may have killed a Deathclaw on my off time. Okay. Let's do... Yeah! And yeah! And yeah! Oh, no. I just wasted that Deathclaw steak. That was dumb. I think. Oh, well. Let's move on. Wow, this place is devastated. Is this from mining? Was there a little camp up there? Sure is. It appears to be mannequins. No! They're alive. Uh, hello. My work focuses on determining environmental feasibility. The various characteristics of a biome dictate its ability to support life. Uh, yeah. Cool. Mutations in the area have occurred at rapid rates, with changes that would take millennia happening in just the last 40 years. Ah, is your nose taped on? Ah, it's fine. I'm just gonna take your stuff. You don't mind, do you? You guys are just fascinated with this devastated planet. Okay. Nope. That one. There we go. Okay, we're getting closer. We might actually make it. I haven't even got to shoot this thing yet. What is this? No, you can't. Wow, did I literally miss him? There we go. Uh oh. Where does puppy go? Ah. There we go. Nice and quiet. Okay. I think there's still some peeps around. Ooh, he had a plasma rifle. Okay. So was he the only one here? Hmm. 
What do we get here? Camp Lewis. Order 451 Pioneer Scouts of the West Virginia. Attention registered campers and guests only beyond this point. All vehicles must display a vehicle pass. Cool, man. Let's go in. Are we going to become a tadpole, guys? I think we're going to be a tadpole. Order of the tadpole. How exactly perfect timing. Oh, what is that horrible noise? Find the source of the noises. Wow, this place is pretty big. Pioneer Scout Camp. Ooh, fundraisers. Pioneer Book. Pioneer Scouts of America hand book fundraisers and fundraising. When possible, fundraisers and fundraising should be should involve the community in some way. Bake sales, running competitions, restoration and cleaning projects, uh, innovation fairs, and intramural 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 uh, competitions uh, can be used to interact with the community, forging a close bond and sense of commitment. Adult approval and supervision must be obtained for all fundraising activities. Non-intrusive. We want to bring the community to us, not pester them with baubles and goodies. We want to bring the community closer to the natural environments. Training. Use these skills you've learned to train members of the community. Most of you are trained in CPR. A great way to raise money in CPR and survival classes. Conduct. Scouts are not allowed to sell pharmaceutical surplus commercial products protection services <laughs> or to engage in criminal activity of any kind. Cool. <laughs> ah, that's great. We, I, I got a tadpole to protect me. Back up, son. Okay, cool. Where is this horrible noise coming from? Because it's horrible. Explore the unknown with the Pioneer Scouts tadpole vending machine. Oh, cool. We can get tadpole stuff. I don't have any of those badges or whatever that kind of currency is. Lake Adventures. Yeah, I don't think we want to go in there. That lake looks pretty, pretty, pretty acidic. What? Uh-oh. Disgruntled campers. I hear more Gushfoot. What else do we have in our... Oh, yeah, I got a Gorman's Bowie knife. Hello. I'm here to stab you. You're dead now. <laughs> we did it. We stabbed him. Alright, cool. So is that robot in the middle of town the source of the horrible noise? Oh gosh, make it stop. It's morning. The Pioneer Scouts today. All the witches are now welcome. <laughs> Die, man. Oh, but he had toothpaste. Is there more amenities? Ooh. Pioneer derives from the French word pionnier, which means foot soldier. Oh my. Pionnier. Whoa. Sweet. We learned something. Or we're about to. Sweet. We know how to make a spear. I'll totally never use that. An area or ridge of land that separates water flowing to different rivers basins or seas is called a watershed oh god can I how does this have power please make it stop it's a good idea to regularly sharpen your fishing hooks with a metal box okay alright man talk to me Jaggy? Oh, of course. As tradition. Oh, good! Ha ha ha, that was so weird. It's like my server dropped or something. Uh, Scout Leader Jaggy, let's have a talk. Hello. Never mind! 
<laughs> Gotta love these these guys. I have been authorized by well myself to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young and recently not so young men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, a tadpole, guys. It's okay. a little known fact that pine cones have sexes. Male pine cones shed pollen, while female pine cones produce seeds. Huh. That's good to know. All right. Well, I'm ready to get rid of some of these. Uh oh. West Virginia is home to two kinds of venomous. So we need to go there. We're going to worry about that later, and that, and that later. There we go. Cleaned it up. And I guess since we're not on our way to the... We also just got a new mission, so let's let's hold off on that. Let's make our way to the dam. Oh, we got an event there. Well, let's go to the event. This is the warden of Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Oh, it seems Mad Dog Malone has escaped again. Any law-abiding citizens hearing this message should proceed to Grafton Dam and attempt to subdue him. I need him taken alive. I will make an example of him to all the other prisoners. My marshals will take care of transporting him back here. Of course. All right, let's uh we're going to rock our uniform and we are going to eat some fancy lad cakes, but our armor is not looking too hot. This one. Let's see. Do I have any way to repair it? I have repair kits. All right. There's that. We have a new right arm, but we lose everything if we don't um how do we look? Do we look snazzy? We look snazzy. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go get these guys. Mad Dog Malone, huh? Nothing. Just a tadpole here to crush you. <laughs> Did he lose sight of me while I was shooting him? Hey, come here, board. Board guy. Arm. Yep, I'm a human. You were a human once, weren't you? Ow. Let's shoot the guy that's shooting me a lot. Nope, you take priority. Owie, boom, boom. <laughs> and I'm on fire, of course. Please stop shooting me. Oh, they're flooding out. This is bad. This is bad, guys. Okay, this gun's been good. What's the... Wow, they really like lighting me on fire. Okay. I should have equipped some grenades first. Hold on, guys. Pause. Pause. I want to equip some grenades. Uh, oh, they're going to be on me. Dude, I don't even have any? Really? Wow. Give me some grenades. Now this gun, um, this gun's cool and stuff, but, uh, all right, guys, up close and personal, here we go, bam, bam, you dead, how about you, you've been bothering me all day with that thing. Where's Mad Dog Malone? Well, we survived that, if only just barely. 
Uh, let's see. Did we search this guy? We didn't search you. Okay, let's reload our weapons. All of our armor's falling apart. So, as I leveled up, the life on my armor has gone way down. I should stop picking up the sledgehammers. Okay. What's this? Ooh, they were using... Ooh, a cop hat. Grafton Dam, we made it. We got a two-four, two-twofer here. Um, slippery humans. <laughs> did you just call me slippery? Ew. We have twenty-two minutes to find Mad Dog Malone. Ooh, we got some lore here. Let's check. I want to make sure um, nobody's gonna sneak up on me here. Cause I heard him, but I think he's inside. Oh, I should have learned that. Uh, do we have an armor bench in here? Because I really need to fix my jazz. We have a bed and a workstation. Ooh, a fragmentation grenade. Let's get rid of this, 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 this. And we're going to hold on to that for now. And grind those up. And we have some things to grind up there. Okay. Coolio. Julio. Uh, I need to... Nope, that's reloaded. That's reloaded. That's not reloaded, but I don't think I'm going to need that here. Okay. Whoa, we got a holotape and final orders for Grafton Dam. We expect your squad back at Camp Venture within the month as you're packing these Packing up these, please keep Elder Maxon's new orders in mind. We have to secure any valuable and potential danger, potentially dangerous technology. Is this the Brotherhood? So a couple parting orders. One, use the contacts you've gathered with the responders and even the free states and see if they know of any hidden caches of technology. I know the Savage Divide had, become, had some government research installations. If we can't get solid intel on, on where... They were, are, we can mount a recovery expedition, I see. Two, determine if anyone, friend or foe, has any technology that is potentially dangerous, anything involving nuclear technology, laser or plasma weaponry, or anything. Or, or anything. Really, just if they exist, catalog it, but don't act. Knight, Wilson, and I will evaluate the case-by-case -case basis. Uh, you must have mixed feelings about leaving the dam, but our mission has grown beyond just protecting civilians. Don't forget it. Paladin Daggerty. Pa Paladin? Battle of Huntersville speech. Oh my. Civilization. The Brotherhood and responders together have paid a high price to make that word mean something in Appalachia. Despite all the changes, farmers have worked the land. People have learned new skills and We've built a new world, and the super mutants threaten all of that. I'm a soldier, a paladin, and I tell you that this is our moment. We will never be stronger, and the super mutants never weaker. If you're thinking in the heat of battle to run, to live to fight another day, know this. There is no other day. We win here, now. Responders and Brotherhood together, or we will die. So look to your left, look to your right. Promise to give your all to protect them, and they will protect you. Make no mistake, this will be the toughest fight of our lives. But we will win, because we're fighting for something, for each other, for our children, for civilization. Now, let's show these muties what we're made of. What a speech. All right, let's see what we get out of these uh, spooky treat bags. So far, spooky treats. Right away, five, five, six rounds. I'll take those. And purified water. Sweet. We completed a weekly. Awesome. All right. And then we are going to lunchbox it up because we want to get through levels. What do we get? Plastic animals. Halloween costume skeleton added. Pirate costume added. 
Whoa, we got a pirate outfit. Come on, confetti mess. It's my favorite. Woo, no, okay. So much cake, finger trap. Okay, and then we're gonna take some berry mantats. And we're gonna read this note over here. This is Espedito, Esposito Diary, page 12. So that was fun. Moreno's a fine communications operator, but that not but not the best pick for command, especially given how situations evol the situations evolving. He took being relieved of command well though. On the trip over, I saw firsthand that our recon was right. The super mutants are growing a growing threat. Is anyone else still really uh, before the war, this was a nice river valley with farms, factories. Now, we now there are these giant bloodthirsty mutants kidnapping and killing people in their path. Everyone in their path. First, some damage control. We set a regular schedule for caravan escorts to the mire and back. If caravan Sally comes through, expecting us to drop everything to escort them now, tough. We have fewer trips with more guards. Okay. Well, let's go in here. I saw a terminal here. There's a guy right on the other side of the door. Someone there. No. No. Not at all. Okay, let's do this. Wow, that was really easy. Uh, okay. Open door. Nah, it was Can I have off this terminal? We'll read that terminal on our way back out. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm not doing a lot of damage with this. Why? Okay. Have this, then. I'm, you know what? I should take a super sledge just till we get all the mods. Oh, yeah? Where's Mad Dog Malone? Are you hiding him? Quit killing me. Stop it. I would like to live, Mad Dog's gang. Take it. Okay, we're gonna switch to shotgun. That seems to work really well. And that fan. We want that fan. Alright, let's heal up. Grab that pack of smokes. Sealed wonder glue. Who is this guy? Whoa! I hear Mad Dog. There he is! I have no grenades equipped. I even told myself to do it. Oh, I have grenades. I have other grenades, too. When did I get those off these guys? Oh, there's a, there's a couple. Okay. We blew him to smithereens. He's still alive. Did you just call me a mungo? Yeah, your arm hurts. Because I'm shooting it. Okay. Die, man. Mad Dog Malone, you're going down, bro. Go back. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, we didn't kill him. They're actually going to capture him. Are you guys here to shoot them or me? That's right, Mad Dog. Deal with it. Okay, so... Oh! Whoops. I didn't actually mean to do that. Hey, we leveled up. Sweet. Who is this guy? Diary of Otis Pike. Grafton Dam Keys. More of this diary. Still dumb to write it down. October 15th, 2077. Checked out the water park where the kid will be in a couple of days. Almost got caught too, but dropped some Grafton Steel Mill protest leaflets to throw people off. It was him that was breaking in to the water park. October 17th, 2077. I knew the kid was a brat, but I had no idea. Maybe this wasn't a great plan. October 18th, 2077. We're holed up in the dam. I've got the place locked down tighter than a miser's cupboard. Oh, boy. Uh, you not having much luck with the ransom, though. Uh, it's not like I wanted the money. Just shut the plant down and get some safety people in there to make it better. October 20th, 2077. The kid was having fun with our great adventure. Now all he does is whine uh, and draw rude <laughs> pictures. I'm not sure who's the captive here. Uh, Arthur left a note at the ransom site. Oh, 
uh, said I could keep his kid. Wow. Wouldn't shut down the plant. Would let his only son go to save the country from commies. Nice. To go save the country from commies. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, October 21st, 2077. I swear this kid is plotting to kill me. He keeps bumping me when I'm on the catwalk. He was playing with a bit of rope, saying he was practicing his Pioneer Scout knots, but I'm pretty sure he was making a noose. Oh my gosh. Sounds like the kid was going to be fine on his own. All right. We already looted him. So where's the kid? You think the kid grew up and, like, is walking around in Appalachia? I wonder if he's a raider. It's got a marker down here. Let's check down here. What do we got? A toy rocket ship. Okay. Freddy's Adventure number one. Freddy's Secrets. Uh, Uncle Otis got me a Grognak game. Uh, he's so cool. We got lot to jet inside the dam. Oh, we got to get inside the dam. Uncle Otis said he was getting us food. I hope he gets pizza. Pizza is cool. I got some candies from a desk. <laughs> okay, free candies. I climbed and hid them. They are all mine. Bobby is going to be so jealous of Uncle Otis. Let's me do stuff. We farted in the tubes here and the stinky ones got a prize i won i'm the best <laughs> okay um freddy the great all right freddy freddy the great he got the stinky ones oh boy i don't see anything else down here let's get out of that wawa all right we got something above this pod here Search for clues. Okay, well, let's keep searching then. All right. They took care of Mad Dog Malone. Walked him right out of here because that's what he deserved. Maybe worse. I don't know. Jail's worse than... Or prison's worse than uh, freedom, isn't it? No? I don't know. Just depends. Interesting that they're able to control the super mutant. That's pretty great. Who is Mad Dog, anyways? Okay. We've got more clues up there on the top pods. How do we get up there? Stairs behind this. Ooh, almost got me. Ugh. Really? What? Oh, man, I can't. There we go. Ooh. Nice. Okay, let's get upstairs. So Otis said this kid's a brat, and everything I heard when he picked him up from that other holotape, when he picked him up, he sounded like a brat. Is this where he hit his candy? Freddy's Adventure number two. Oops. Crap. Here we go. More secret stuff. Uncle Otis got me candies and took me, uh, took them. He said, my teeth is going to rot out. Not, ah, uh, not air, not, not our Uncle Otis got grass food. Not fair. There it is. Not fair. He is all mad now and stopped being fun. I want to go home and play with my rifle. Want me to, uh, bam, bam. I am good shooter. I'm a good shooter and I got rat, but now it's dead and no fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, Uncle Otis sucks. I'm going to get him. I want to go home and he says no. I want candies and he says no. I want to fart in the tube and he says no. I'm going to make traps. Like Pioneer Scout said, but do in the woods and catch Uncle Otis because I'm the greatest. Oh my gosh, he was making a noose. Oh boy. Uh, so what put Otis down? Was it? Was it? So where's Otis' body? I'm wondering if this kid pulled it off. 
Did the did did this kid take out Otis? So Otis's body is right there, right? Oh boy. Did he fall from here? Let's check up here first. Freddy's adventure number three. Biggest secret, it worked. Uncle Otis got his foot in my trap and slipped where I put the oil. He's so mad and yelling at me, he is stuck upside down there. <laughs> I showed him. I'm going home. Oh, gosh. He did get him. The kid took him out. What the heck? Holy cow. Let's drink that bourbon. We need it after that story. So, then it fell. And I see that there's another spot down there. Ugh. Oh, I hate these things. Die. Worse than gnomes. No, stop it. Are these his traps? Oh, uh, that's not the kid, right? Right. Probably not. Got a teddy bear, though. Oh, boy. And this goes out back. Oh, wow, cool. All right, well, let's go down to the only thing we have left. So Otis slipped and f fell from there? Huh. Arthur Wood's lighter. Oh, here we go. This is a little hideout. Grognak and the Ruby Ruins? Oh, sweet! Did we get a new game? Oh, guys. I think we got a new game. Oh, we totally did. We're going to have to save that for later. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Is this a worker? I don't know. I mean, would he have... Well, look. Otis still has... Like... Flesh. So... The kid can't be up there. Alright. Search the Woods estate. So we need to go to Arthur Woods? Alright. I guess it's on to the next place. Uh, let's see. Map. Where's Arthur Wood's place? Oh, back up here. The estate. Oh, look, my survival camp's up there. Perfect. And we took care of Mad Dog Malone. Wonder if that's the last we'll see of him. We could go to the warden, but we're not. We're going to go up here. Uh, straight ahead. Here we go. Can I open this? No. What is this a sign for? Oh, the water park. Man, I bet this place was awesome when uh, when they were in business. Aside from all the, uh, you know, kidnapping and stuff. Did I see something up there? A beaver. Oh, my. Clarksburg. Back to Clarksburg. So they live in Clarksburg. Responder bot? Yes. We're level 31, guys. Oh, before we get too far. I would like to open this pack. Oh, I still had Gunsmith on. We got Commando. We got Science. We got Scattershot. And Hard Bargain. Nice. The Funnies. What does an educated person call an insurance policy? Vault Tech. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. So... I'm wondering, should we do agility? We have one enforcer card. I picked that when I was outside of recording. So, we also have starch jeans available now. But, I don't actually have a mutation yet. So, I don't need that card until I get a mutation. So, hmm. And I don't want to put any more into perception yet. And I don't want to put any more into strength yet. I say... Mm, 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 agility. We're going to go for another Enforcer card. Bam! 
Because I love shotguns. Yeah, we do. Let's put uh, first aid back on there. And let's put enforcer on there. Cool. And we got two. So can I rank this one up? Let's do it. Done. Okay. We did the thing. Awesome. Search the woods estate. Is that this right here? Oh boy, there's not much left. I hear you, responder bot. A pencil. Who puts a pencil in the mailbox? Is that a normal thing? Wonder glue. Anything in the garage? I can't get in the garage. Is there a garage here? Or is it just... No, it's, yeah, it's sealed off. I don't know Morse code. Uh-oh. This is not a good sign. Oh, boy. This place is pretty devastated. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Is that a raider? What are you doing, man? Yeah? Do it all day, then. Freaking bums. What are they doing here? Oh, nice little greenhouse. Well, it was. Bag o fertilizer. Okay, let's get back in that house. Uh, let's see. This is not looking good. Why is the tub upside down there? Nice clock. The clock made it, guys. We got a terminal. The terminal survived? Really? Oh, is that the kid? I think that's... Well, a kid. Ooh, free war money. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Sweet. All right, let's check this terminal. Oh, Freddy's hasty note? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Daddy, I can't find you, and I'm scared. I hear lots of sirens, and a man says I got to go with him to some secret place. Uh, pow? Now, he said Daddy gave money so I can go to the vault and be safe. Uncle Otis is at the dam, and we had fun time, except he was mean, so I left him. Where are you? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Woods Estates Terminal. So did he get into the vault? Property of Arthur Wood. Warning, unauthorized use is prohibited by law. Personal. Molly. Arthur, my dearest, I am both frightened and excited that we will soon be parents. I'm glad you've agreed to let Otis work with you at the mill. I know he irritates you, but he's my only brother and I love him. I'd done a silly thing and ordered a very expensive thing for the baby. I hope you don't mind. I love you, Molly. Camp Tomahawk. Dear Mr. Wood, thank you for giving us a chance to make your son, Freddy, a pioneer scout. We are thrilled that he will be attending camp with us this summer, as we have healthy activities uh, planned to enrich his experience. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any concerns or questions. Scoutmaster James A. Johnson. James A. Johnson. Hmm, James Johnson. Nanny Annie. Mr. Wood, so is this what uh, she ordered? Thank you for your recent inquiry about upgrades for the Ms. Nanny model. I have dispatched a catalog to you in the post uh, with our newest innovations. Please let me know if I can assist you any further. Respectfully, Jeff Perry, General Atom at Atomics, blah, 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 International Sales Manager. Vault Tech, Project Safe House. Mr. Wood, to answer your questions. One, yes, there is a room for both there is room for both you and your son. Two, yes, your war efforts are greatly appreciated. Three, yes, you can arrange for your son to be delivered to the safe to a safe location in the event of war, since you will likely be separated from him if he is either at location you specified, his home, his school, we will be able to assist. 
Four. No, his nanny will not be able to join him. Regards, vault -Tec. I see. Company business. Graft and steel business. Classified. Safety data. Mr. Wood, I'm afraid your worker safety numbers this past quarter have increased drastically uh, over the previous quarter. This might look pretty bad if released to the regular regulatory board. Even with our government preferred status, um, graft and steel would take a lot of heat. Maybe we can adjust the format of the report. Uh, this is another argument for automated workers, though. Repair costs are a lot cheaper than lawsuits. What do you think, Stacy? Well, of course. Morale. Mr. Wood, worker morale has been plummeting. I'm starting to ask, or I've started asking around, and I think it's Otis Pike, is bad-mouthing the company. With your permission, I will arrange for his activities to be watched more closely. Respectfully, Stacy. Termination. Mr. Wood, I've terminated the problem employee and reported his commie leanings to the authorities as you requested under the Wartime Workers Act. He could hang for treason if you want to press the issue. Please advise Stacy. Wow, that's brutal. Production. Uh, Mr. Wood, our numbers are dropping fast. I think workers are intentionally damaging automated help. I'm not sure they're going to be the best solution if these turbulent in these turbulent times can you investigate whether conscription is an option while we wait for the delivery of more automated workers regards stacy oh boy estate controls property of arthur wood warning on the authorized use is prohibited it says offline huh time to return to Ms. Annie. so did he make it into a vault I'm thinking he made it into a vault and threw that note down. Well, hopefully he's not under this thing. Okay, let's go back to Miss Annie. That's the wrong button for that. There we go. Hey, stop it. There we go. I'm trying to talk to the lady. Ooh, it's a mummy. Don't die, mummy. Miss Annie, help! I just got attacked by a mummy, bro. A vampire and a mummy and a guy in a well-dressed suit. All right, Miss Annie. You! You are returned! And my okay, I didn't find Freddy, but this last note offers some hope. This you found at the home? Oh! Poor child, such fear. The writing says he went to safety before the bombs. This means he I could I think live. he could be in a vault. Merci. These things I have found, you must take as reward. All right. And she over encumbered us. <laughs> so I guess he made it to the vault. That's my guess. Cold case complete. Well, this has been one heck of an episode, guys. i really, really glad to have that out of the way. We, uh, we got a fancy submachine gun. Perfect storm. Target burns for 24 damage over 3 seconds. That's gonna be nice. I'm gonna light some fools up with that. In the next episode, when we come back, we are gonna make our way to Prickett's Fort, I hope. We're kind of far away. Uh, and we have some kitty cabins. We, we have some tadpole missions. And we have a cold case mission, which we should probably do. That, that will start there. When we come back in episode 29. Uh, if you like the video, slap that like button. If you want to see the rest of the videos in this series and the other series I have on my channel. There's lots of stuff over there. Just go ahead and take a look. You might find something you like. Hit that subscribe button and a little bell icon. So just maybe YouTube will let you know when I come out with new content. With that, I will see you guys in the next episode.